Well, hi everyone. Welcome. This is Mary from Mary's Card Cafe, and I'm so glad you're with me today because I have such cute cards to share. I am doing a um, spotlight on a stamp set video, and this stamp set is called the Birds and Branches Stamp Set by Stampin' Up! Beautiful little birds that go in two different directions, some great um, branches and leaves, little eggs in a nest. It's so very cute. And it also comes with the birds and more dies, the coordinating dies. And this is just some of them. There's also the dies for the um, birds that I'm going to be using today, but there's this beautiful little wreath that's also part of the die set. And this is a bundle. Um, in this year's catalog. That means it's new to the annual catalog this year. And whenever something comes in um, with coordinating dies or a punch in its first year, it is bundled together. You can purchase them both together for a 10% discount or purchase each one separately. But you're going to want the dies if you get the Birds of Branches stamp set. So I have some fun cards to share with you today from some fellow demonstrators who participate in swaps with me. And let me tell you a little bit about who they are and their projects. This is a beautiful little card from Sue Carlson. I love how she sponged a bit of the background sky and the ground area here just below. I like how she did her little branches and leaves and look at those cute little eggs. Very nice. This one here is by Deb Babcock and she focused on some blue birds with our misty moonlight uh, in color. I see she also used one of our other stamp sets that's a scene builder to do a little bit of cloud work there. Very, very nice. This card was done by Ruth Tinkham. Um, she's coordinating and using some of the um, ornate floral specialty designer series paper. There's that wreath that she has die cut out and um, the wreath does not cut out of the, the paper and so she has the rectangle um, and cut that down. Very nice. And then this is from Lori Jane Middlestadt. So again, she's also done the wreath and then used that textile um, 3D embossing folder and look at the cute little speckled eggs on that one you guys. So these are great projects using the birds and branches bundle actually on all of these and I have a card to share today and a card we're going to make together. So let me get that. Here's my birds and branches card for today. I'm using the very vanilla gold um, metallic bordered uh, cards with envelopes. Let's see here what we have with that. That's this right here. These beautiful cards with the, um, the gold, it's kind of brushed gold envelopes to match, just stunning. I'm also using a scrap. I just had um, some extra pieces from cutting down um, layers for cards with the Flowers for Every Season designer series paper. So I'm gonna be using that today as well, okay? One of the things I wanna show you is how I went ahead and got this um, wreath out as a circle. I'm using the largest scallop circle of the layering circles to actually then bring that out so it's round. So let's take a look at how I did that today. Okay, so I'm just going to start by adhering my paper with my stamp and seal. Now you may notice with my stamp and seal I'm not doing the big left or right swipe that you would do when you were using the fast fuse. Um, it's it, it will um, it will pull right off your roller so you don't want to do that you just roll steady and just give a little flick at the end and it will come right off okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get that wreath and so I'm using mint macaron and the brushed metallic cardstock that's in the August to December mini catalog so I'm gonna move my mat aside and bring in the new stamp and cut and emboss machine. Let's lift up so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So I'm going to be using my base plate one, my thin die adapter two, and one of the three plates. And then I have my pretty little wreath and mint macaron. I'm gonna go ahead and die cut this out other plate on top and roll it through and I tell you what the stamp cut and emboss machine is so nice 
It rolls through very easily. It doesn't slide all over on my table. But you, as you can see, this piece comes out and then this is what you have, all right? And so um, you saw on those couple other cards that people had just cut the rectangle and used it that way. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut out, let's get all those pieces. I'm going to cut that out using the largest scallop circle. Make sure I'm even all the way around so that'll come out nicely. I'll put my plate on, lay it down, and run it through. And there, whoo, did I just rip that? I certainly did. And there is our beautiful little wreath. I'll have to hide that with my bow at the end or something, because I just pulled that. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Okay. Set those aside. That's how I got that. And now, I'm not gonna set that aside, I apologize. Let me bring those back in because I need my brushed gold scallop circle. I'll go ahead and put that in. Get my scallop circle. I'm gonna put that right to the edge there. This uh, wheel is so, handle is so easy to go round and round, I tell you. This machine will be available to customers September 1st. So exciting. All right, so I have that now. And my beautiful mint macaron little wreath that's so nice but again I, I have a, I tore that by accident so I can put, put my bow there so that's no trouble all right it's time to set my machine aside so easily bring my mat back in because we have to build some birds don't we we certainly do need some bird bird birds I just think this is a neat neat set I love all the stamp sets that have the two-step stamping which gives you so much dimension and character. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp off the base of my bird. There's one. Get him on the block a little bit better. Okay, and here's my other one. He goes the other direction. Stamp off. Aw, oh, I'd do better out than that. Huh. Oh. There. <laughs> that was a little silly looking. All right, now this next layer of this bird, I'm not going to stamp off. And I'm sorry if I, my head's in the way, but I've got to try to get on here somewhat correctly. What's really nice, because you die cut them out, it's, it's okay if you don't quite get the bird layered on there exactly, because you will be die cutting it out for this card, so. Sorry guys, my head's gonna get in here. There we go. And see, he's not perfect, but that's okay, because when he die cuts, it won't be a problem at all. It's very forgiving that way. Gotta love those dies. So now we have some little feet. And there are two different feet. Um, and that's because the birds face different directions, and so whichever foot would be longer than the other, depending upon how they're sitting. Go figure how smart are people with that design, huh? <laughs> so let's bring our stamp and cut and emboss machine back in. Let's lift up so you guys see this great thing happening. All right, so let's put our one, two, and here, let's turn those around. I like them going in the direction of the words. One, two, and three there. We'll put our birds down. I'll get my two bird dies. There's this one. And this one. Again, with my dies, I don't want anything to be going in straight up and down and um, end up getting a little speed bump going through. So I like to tilt my card stock. And I don't think I can do my feet at the same time for the birds, you guys, so we're not going to. I'm gonna put that plate just right down on without moving anything. 
when the magnetic plate is available. Oh, I'm so excited because Stampin' Up! designed this met met metallic plate, or metallic, magnetic plate, excuse me, is uh, magnetic all the way through. So there's no strips of ma uh, magnetic, nothing like that. It's a thin, uh, thin magnetic plate and it is going to be wonderful. That's for those, and that's for that. Now, these die, these dies right here have these little circles, and when you've got your circles lined up, you know you pretty much are on the mark. So that's very, very helpful. I'm upside down, sorry you guys. Don't mean to make you fuss fussy here and watch me do this, but. <laughs> but these feet are so, so tiny. There we go. <gasps> Wonderful. Anyway, I'm just very excited about the magnetic plate because I have terrible trouble with the other magnetic plate. My dies kind of skip and jump around. They don't stay put. And that's a little frustrating. Okay, how cute are those little feet? Oh my gosh, those are great. So let's do that. I'll set my plates aside. I will close up my Stamp and Cut and Bot beautiful machine and set it aside. So I was able to, as a demonstrator, pre-order that at the beginning of August, and I have been using it and using it and using it, and I love, 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 love everything about it. Yes, ma'am. There we go. Okay, now it's just time to assemble the rest of our beautiful card. Okay. And I'm a little cuckoo because I set aside my card and I don't know where it went to. Well. That's just fine, how do you do? Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. I'm using my little liquid multi-purpose glue um, on the little bit larger spaces of the wreath. I like the mono um, adhesive liquid glue quite a lot. Um, I could use the fine tip glue as well and then I'll just give a little bit of, not hardly anything along this outer edge. Do, 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 do. Um, I could also use the adhesive sheets before die cutting it out. That works well too. All right. Now I wanted, this is perfect because I wanted this to be on its the wreath part to be kind of this way on the card and so the that will work out perfectly for the bow to be there and this is so funny you guys I just throw my card all over the place I'm telling you all right so let's turn that over mech that down a little bit and go ahead and use our stamp and seal oh, the stamp and seal is so nice down right there looks great let's go ahead and bring our birds back in I'm gonna put just a little bit of that liquid glue here and here on the birds just so I can give them put their little feet where they need to go let's make sure we got the right one for the right bird that goes with that one because his feet, their feet are even going the right way, you guys. It's so great. I just love this. And so then I'm going to just put that down about where I think it's going to go. Get a little more than that there. So that can stay there. And then this one, just about like so, there. Now I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to raise up my birds. And I'm even going to put one of the dimensionals down on the feet so it just kind of holds the feet in place. Because that glue is still wet right now, so, you know. 
So this little guy, gonna go there. I just love these birds, and I really like the terracotta tile because it's really, really um, kind of going into that fall. I just think this uh, metallic bordered card screams fall for some reason. There we go. Now I have my saying to do. Now, it's really funny is, uh, I put my sticker on crooked, and so you think the saying's completely crooked, but it's not. There you go, perfect. <laughs> I had to play around and get it on my, my block the right way. <laughs> I'm also using the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. I'm just about out of this ribbon, actually, on this one. I've been using the terracotta color a lot. Just make a quick little bow. Did that little guy get twisted? Nope. There we go. Thought it got twisted. It didn't. There we are. Very cute. All right. Now this bow will go right here and it'll actually cover, it's perfect, cover that little spot that I ripped that when I die cut it out. I'm not even sure how in the world I did that. I guess I was just a little too rough. Too excited to show you guys. A little glue dot. That's gonna go right there. Oh, and there it is. That is such a cute card, you guys. Not a lot of work on my part in terms of the base was already done when adding that beautiful border. I added my strip of the flowers for every season designer series paper. This little hello there came from the here's a card stamp set. It's got fantastic um, sentiments, thank yous and um, sympathies, congratulations, birthdays, all sorts of things. And so that little hello there is perfect. So I have that one and I also have this one with a different designer series paper. Um, the same package, but just a different one. And just again, guys, there were just so many great cards for you to see um, with this stamp set spotlight today with the birds and branches. If you want to take a look at um, anything that I have going on, you can check out the links below. I have a uh, $100 Stampin' Up! shopping spree event that's going on for the month of August. It is my birthday month and I'm celebrating giving one person a hundred dollar shopping spree. There are so many different ways you guys to get in on this entry uh, entries for this. Um, one is just by subscribing to my YouTube channel. How easy is that? I'll put an entry in for you. Um, share my video, give me a thumbs up you guys, and even click that bell so you can get notifications when I upload. You can always do other things too. Um, um, ordering through me will get you entries, all sorts of different things. You can check out my blog which is linked below that has more details about all the ways to earn entries. You can also check out the link for my blog on this card for my birds and branches. And I just enjoy so much having you guys with me. I'm so glad I decided to do this spotlight on the stamp set, the birds and branches. Um, and be sure if you're going to purchase, get the bundle, get the branches and more and save 10%, you guys. And so I just want to say, until next time, happy stampin'.